Hey y'all, it is time for September Purchases, where I tell you what I have been buying lately in the anime and manga world. Uh, I didn't buy anything in August, actually. Um, just nothing I happened to see, but I really made up for it in, uh, in, in September, just to give you a feel. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff there. So, um, a lot of little onesies and twosies, backfilling in series that I had gotten a few discs of back when you could buy a few discs of, of anime at a time and uh, never got the rest of. So, uh, Bubblegum Crisis, Tokyo 2040, disc 3. I actually loaned this disc out to a friend of mine who never gave it back and then moved away. Um, fantastic reboot of the original Bubblegum Crisis, sort of mecha, although they're hard suits, so they're it's like powered armor. Um, really interesting series, um, great stuff. Then, um, actually bought the entire series of Project Blue Earth SOS which is apparently a fun sort of retro uh, 50s-ish kind of action-adventure, you know, uh, series. Which I, I watched the first episode on, um, and I was like, this, is, this looks fun. I'll give it a try. So, got the first three discs of that. Nice thing is that the third disc comes with a, the, the box, which would be cool. It'd be even more cool if I actually kept any of that stuff, but I'll put it all in the binders. Uh, disc three of Mao-chan. Now, this was uh, by Ken Akamatsu, who did uh, Nagima and Love Hina, the, the harem series. And uh, Mao Chan is sort of his parody of uh, Japanese cuteness culture. So everything is, is super, 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 super cute. And, uh, and yeah, intentionally so. And not just like in the, in the anime, within the world, like there's this whole thing about how cute things are. So that, that's, that's fun. Then Origin Spirits of the Past, the movie by Gonzo, which uh, from everything I've heard is beautiful. And that's about it. The story's a bit of a mess, but uh, you know, I'm willing to watch something beautiful. I, I'm an animation nut like that. Volume four of Cosmo Warrior Zero. This is one of Leiji Matsumoto's uh, big space opera stories, um, and set in a pretty interesting time in his world. So, looking forward to finishing that up again. One of those things where I got the first three discs as they came out, and then the fourth one just kind of never, never materialized. At least at the stores where I was going. Then the final discs of Captain Herlock. Uh, also in Leiji Matsumoto's universe, bought the first disc because it was cheap on uh, on right stuff, and uh, liked it enough that I was like, okay, I'll I'll watch the rest of this. Interesting direction on that one. Uh, then Trigon Badlands Rumble. That's right, Vash is back. The full length feature film. Haven't watched this yet. Plan to do so soon uh, on Blu-ray in in my uh, in my house. So uh, looking forward to checking this out. Uh, kind of had to. I mean, it, it's Vash. And then uh, Revolutionary Girl Utna, the, the second of the, th of the three sagas of the TV series. Um, very, very weird experimental series by the staff behind Sailor Moon, actually, much of the staff, who decided to, to do something really completely different. Very, still shoujo, but um, experimental, very distinctive art style, very cerebral, interesting. So looking forward to watching more of that. Moving on to manga purchases, uh, Action Amera manga, The Thundro Curse. By, let me make sure I, I pronounce the name correctly, Emma Jo Nicol, and uh, uh, who actually asked me to, to review it. So I got a copy, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to writing a review of this soon. Then uh, finally, Sailor V and Sailor Moon. That's right. Why? Because they're freaking classics. Uh, Sailor V was the original, and then uh, when an anime adaptation was planned, uh, the staff kind of reworked a lot of the elements with the creator's permission. Um, into Sailor Moon, which she then uh, uh, drew and published. So, what I didn't, I didn't actually know that, that Sailor Moon is actually kind of, the anime came first in that sense, although the manga came out kind of at the same time. Um, but the anime was, was, was basically the, the reason for a lot of the characters and so forth. So, looking forward to checking these out. Uh, and that is it for September. So, uh, my question to you is, I'd like to know what anime and manga you've been buying recently, and, and, uh, and we'll, we'll sort of compare notes.